What to do with your rare element now that Planet Watch published their so-called community resilience plan and is there any chance that you can still earn crypto with it or is it now just an expensive paperweight? My name is Christian Rauchenwald and in this video you are going to get all the answers about that. Before we get started, however, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. With that out of the way, let's talk about Planet Watch, Aware, the Aware Element and your options as Aware Element owner. Just like thousands of people around the world, I also joined Planet Watch by buying an Aware Element air quality sensor and enjoyed earning planets every day for simply sharing our air quality data. But as you probably know by now, those times are unfortunately over. And while we might argue about who's responsible for that, it doesn't really matter much because what matters is that there are still options for owners of Aware Element air quality sensors to get some money and potentially also continue participating in Planet Watch. Before we look into how you still can either participate in Planet Watch in the future and earn more planets daily, or at least get some money to hopefully make your investment back, let's quickly answer a simple but important question. Is there any chance that your aware element might still be used for Planet Watch or is it now nothing more than a $150 or for those that bought them later a $300 paperweight? Unfortunately, it's already pretty certain that the aware element won't be able to earn you any planets in the future, leaving you with only the following three options. First, there's a new website that popped up recently called lmdata.com that supposedly is going to launch around the 15th of May. And while it's missing a lot of basic information already advertises that you'll be able to earn a new token called EDT in exchange for your air quality data. I know that sounds exciting, but considering the lack of information and the lack of activity on the project's official Discord server, I wouldn't get my hopes up just yet. I still wanted to include it in this video though, because it offers a little hope that your aware element might actually still earn you crypto in the future. Besides that, option number two would be to simply sell your aware element on eBay or a similar platform to make a few bucks back. But unfortunately, there are currently way more sellers than buyers leading to offers like the one I'm going to show right here. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather keep my aware as a paperweight for a few months and hope that prices go up a bit again than to sell it for $30 or less right now. Which pretty much leaves us with option number three and that is to simply use the aware element to actually monitor your air quality at home without getting any rewards for it. Personally, I'm going for number one and two, so I'll keep our aware elements. After all, we got five of them until preferably lmdata.com launches and offers rewards in exchange for the data or more likely put them into a closet and try to sell them in a few months or maybe a year from now when eBay is less saturated and prices might with a bit of luck be somewhere around $100 per sensor again. I know, I know all of that sounds quite bad so far. It's like you spent $150 or most likely twice that just to earn a few planets that thanks to the whole situation are now also worth next to nothing. And I agree the situation for rare element owners is bad. But thankfully Planet Watch, unlike so many other companies out there, really cares about its users and came up with a, in my opinion, more than acceptable solution, their so-called element community resilience plan. That resilience plan offers you two different options. Option number one is that Plant Watch will simply refund your Type 4 license. So depending on if you bought a one, two or three year license, you'd get up to around 75 US dollars back in planets on a specified day between July and September, depending on the duration of your license. That obviously doesn't cover the cost for your aware element, but combined with any planets you were able to earn before everything went south and the money you might get from selling your aware element in a couple of months, it might get you parts of your money back and at least reduce your loss in quotes substantially. Option number two, on the other hand, is that instead of getting your license refunded, Planet Watch is going to give you two vouchers in form of a token sent to your Algorand wallet. The first voucher has a value of $100 and can be used to buy another Planet Watch approved sensor either directly from Planet Watch or hopefully in the future also from third parties like for example Atmotube. And the second voucher has a value of $200 and can be used to buy licenses at Planet Watch. 
So with option number two, you'd receive two vouchers with a total value of 300 US dollars that you can theoretically sell to someone else if you don't want to buy another device or license. But you would have to keep in mind that all the vouchers will expire in May 2023, so roughly 12 to or 11 and a half months from now. Out of both options provided by Planet Watch, obviously the second one appears more attractive since it's a $300 voucher versus around $30 to $70 for your license refund. However, there's likely going to be a lot of people trying to sell their vouchers and as a result, just like with the price for wear element sensors on eBay, most likely it won't take long until some people are willing to sell their $100 voucher for $50 or maybe less. Combined with the expiry of the voucher in May 2023, that means you can't wait forever to get the most out of it. Besides that, the bigger of those two vouchers can only be used for licenses at Planet Watch and $200 would technically almost be enough to buy three Type 4 licenses. So the number of people willing to buy it will likely also be smaller since only people that plan to either buy multiple licenses or a more expensive license like those for Type 1 sensors are in my opinion going to be interested into buying that voucher from you in the first place. Now that doesn't mean that the vouchers are bad, it's just important to understand that while they are valued at $300, you likely won't get anywhere close to that amount when you try to sell them. If you're planning to use the vouchers yourself to get a new air quality sensor and license, then you're obviously getting more value out of them, but you'll likely also have to still spend some of your own money on top since there isn't a single Planet Watch sensor for $100 right now on the market. But either way, it's important that you tell Planet Watch which option you choose by the 13th of June 2022, or otherwise you won't get anything, so neither the license refund nor the vouchers. And if you're leaning towards getting the vouchers, the last question would probably be where and how you're going to be able to sell them if you don't plan to use them yourself to get a different Planet Watch approved air quality sensor. Since the vouchers are going to be tokens in your wallet, you can obviously trade them with anyone that is willing to pay you for them. But that might mean that you have to spend quite some time to find a buyer, for example, in the Planet Watch community. And then that buyer would basically have to send you the funds to your wallet and you then send them the voucher as a token. So it also requires some kind of trust. Luckily enough, Planet Watch also already mentioned that they will seek to facilitate the process and will keep this solution viable and attractive, which as far as I understand means that they will launch some kind of marketplace allowing you to list your vouchers for sale and others to buy them directly through the marketplace. It's however also possible that Planet Watch comes up with another way to connect sellers and buyers, but we'll just have to wait and see in this case. And that's all there is to know right now. You obviously have to decide for yourself how you want to proceed. Personally, I lean more towards taking the vouchers and using them to get a different Planet Watch compliant air quality sensor. But I also get that many people don't want to spend more money on a project that didn't work out for them so far. So what do you think about Planet Watch solution? Would you have preferred another option or are you happy about the two options they came up with? Let me know in the comments below or even better, use the link below in the description to join our Discord community and discuss Planet Watch and other projects with me and the community there. As always, thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.